It's a little tiny Irish guy dancing. You know what dance he's doing? Of course, it's the micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. The best advice I can give you for using pallet wood is be flexible with it. If you're following a plan, don't expect to follow the dimensions exactly. I think it's helpful to look through all the different types of boards that you have and adapt your project to fit the wood. For instance, when I drew up the plans for this project, I used three quarter inch lumber, but none of these boards are three quarters of an inch thick. They vary from a quarter inch up to seven eighths of an inch. So I'll just make do with what I have. I'll use this thickest piece for my backer board. I'll cut it into two pieces and join them together to make a six inch wide board. I'm using my edge jointing jig to square up these edges so I can glue them together. So that gives me a couple of really nice surfaces that I can glue together. I'll cut down this sheet of plexiglass to the same size. One of the decisions to make when you're building a pallet project is how rustic do you want it to look? By planing this board down, it looks almost like a brand new board, but I wanted that light color so that the dry erase markers would show up easily. I like the look of these frame pieces, so I'm just gonna give them a light sanding. With the plexi in place, I wanna make a mark where these end pieces get notched out. And this should fit nicely over the plexiglass and that board. I'm gonna use a stack of dado blades to cut rabbits along one side of the top and bottom pieces. And I'm trimming a little bit off the lower piece. The final piece I cut was this little strip that will create a ledge for the marker to sit in. I want this plexiglass to be removable, so let me show you how I'm going to assemble this. These two rabbited pieces are gonna hold everything in like that. And this is the little lip that's going to hold the pin. So that the plexiglass is removable, I've made these notches deeper than this board. So in other words, when it goes over this like that, there's still a gap between there that I'll be able to slide the plexi in and out. I think I'll start the assembly by gluing the top and bottom pieces on. I'm not putting glue all the way up into here because that's where the plexiglass is going to need to slide. I'm going to put these into position and use these to line it up. I can double check that I've got enough of a gap there for the plexi. Yeah, it looks good. I'll let that dry before I put the sides on. All right, with those dried up, now I can glue on these end pieces. These dowels will give those joints a little extra strength and add a decorative element. This is a quarter inch dowel I'm gluing into these holes. I'm bending these nails into hooks. I've pre-drilled holes in the bottom of this and I'll epoxy these nails in. I'm gonna attach this to the wall using these kind of plastic anchors and screws, but I need to set the head of this screw below the surface of this board. I can drill a smaller hole all the way through. I'm finishing this with spray lacquer. Hey 
Mimos, I'm really excited to introduce you to a new sponsor to Woodworking for Mere Mortals, Harry's. And have I got a deal for you. One of the biggest day-to-day -day hassles in a man's life is shaving. Have you seen the cost of razors lately? I mean, they're not just expensive, it's stupid expensive. If you're like me, you probably try to get as much life out of those razors as possible, using them until they are so dull that they nick your face and scratch your face and cause razor burn. It's kind of like my table saw blades. I just keep using them until the wood just gets ripped to shreds. Harry's was started by two guys who thought there has got to be a better way. Check this out, this is the introductory kit. It comes with this razor handle. This is the Winston, which really has a good weight and feel to it. Harry's own shave cream, and of course this cool little box with extra razors. I'm always urging viewers of the show to find inexpensive ways to do woodworking, such as using pallet wood. Harry's is the perfect mere mortal product, but what's even better is you can get $5 off your first order just by going to harrys.com and entering coupon code WOODWORKING. Half the price of what you'll pay at the store, they come right to your front door and you're gonna get a better shave. Smooth. <laughs> if only I could offer you a deal like this for table saw blades. I was thinking one thing that might be fun is to put a picture back there of somebody's face. You could draw mustaches and glasses. It would be wacky. If you liked this project and this is your first time here, I hope you will subscribe to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I have new woodworking videos every Friday on this channel. And I'd also like to remind all of you to check out my second channel, Mere Minutes, where I post news and updates of all things Mere Mortals. That's it for now, everybody. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next Friday.